Hi, oh, good day, and welcome to Farming Live Australia. In this edition of Farming Life Australia, I'm going to take you cane harvesting today. The cane harvest season in North Queensland is in full swing at the moment, and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you what it's all about. No, it's fairly remarkable when you look at it. This industry's gone from men with cane knives cutting this cane and putting it on the ground and then it had to be loaded into a trailer and then taken up to the tram line and then loaded again into the carriages at the tram line. And now they've got harvesters that cut it all, take all the trash off it, put it in a bin, then the haul out operator drives it up to the tram line and puts it in one of the carriages up there, then the train goes into the mill to be unloaded. I was speaking to the owner of this business and his name's John Cozzoletto and he was telling me that in the early days his father came out from Italy and worked as a cane cutter cutting cane by hand in them days with a cane knife they had to burn the cane and that meant that the job was very dirty the cane was covered in soot and ash and they got it all over them and it really was a pretty tough job in them days eventually he was able to get himself a harvester as things went along and became a harvesting contractor when John left school he started driving one of the haul outs for his father. Anyway, John's carried on from there and here he is today sitting in a great big machine, air conditioned. So I suppose it was all worthwhile in the long run. In the middle of your screen you can see a screen there that's a monitor for the machine. And that pretty well tells the operator everything he needs to know about the machine while he's driving it. Here we're at the pad where the haul outs unload their cane into bins that are supplied by the sugar mill and they hook these bins up to a train and tow them back to the mill. Haul outs over the years have changed dramatically, they were little tractors with little bins all open air and you got dirt and crap all over you all the time, you're in the freezing cold in the middle of winter and now they're great big horsepower, they cart great big lots of cane 
they're really efficient they tip a lot better the old ones didn't have conveyors to convey the cane into the bins and all in all conditions all throughout have become a lot better for the operators over the years Well the next cane taxis arrived, as you can see things are pretty efficient and they have to be today because years ago although they were doing a lot of manual work the prices comparatively were a lot better. Farms have gone through some pretty tough times in recent years. I don't really know exactly how it stands today but I do know that there has been some pretty tough times and without mechanisation and machinery I doubt whether they'd still be able to do it today if it was all cut by hand and make ends meet.
Well, we're nearly at the end of this video. I'll just give you a little bit of a scenic flight of the area these guys are working in. It really is a beautiful day and I'm sure if you have to be working somewhere it's a great part of the world to be in. I'd like to thank John Cozzoletto and the crew that he's got for allowing me to make this film. And it was really interesting that, you know, I went out to make a film about cane harvesting, but when John told me the story of the family and how they come to be cane cutting contractors in North Queensland, I really saw that there was a big human side to this whole thing. It's amazing in Australia with a lot of hard work and a lot of effort, just how far people can go and what they can achieve. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia. We'll catch you next time.